Uh, we've got showers and storms out there this morning. A lot of it has dropped into our southeastern county. So the good news is we got through your overnight hours fairly unscathed. I mean, we had wind and heavy rain and we did have a little bit of damage out there, but overall we're in pretty good shape. The max track shows that most of it is clear of the bluegrass, but these showers and storms are still persisting across southeastern counties. They're just about at our border and out of here. At least that leading edge we will likely see a little additional development later on today. But as far as the local storm reports go, a couple of reports of wind damage back there as those storms fired up just across the river towards Shepherdsville. But we had one report of a 61 mile per hour wind gust and that came out of Lewisburg up around Mason County. But notice the marginal risk from yesterday was expanded. We now have this slight risk that covers pretty much all of western Kentucky except for a little thin sliver west of Paducah there and then a marginal risk here. And then tomorrow, a marginal risk area wide, which means we've still got rounds of active weather coming our way for the next couple of days. When you add this in, up to an inch or more of rain onto the inch, inch and a half, two inches we had yesterday, uh, the rainfall totals are starting to really, uh, well, end up beneficial for us. I mean, look at our 30 day rainfall. We're starting to erase a lot of that short term deficit that we've had, but we're still an inch in over eight tenths down for the month in Lexington and uh, almost uh, uh, an inch, 0.86 down for the year. So we still got some, uh, you know, additional rainfall that we could use. Problem is, as we get these repeated waves coming in here and the ground gets saturated, heavy rain could lead to localized flooding. So watch out. Reason we have that slight risk out tonight is after a hot and steamy afternoon, here comes another round of storms. This one will dive more into our western Kentucky counties, but eventually push east. We could have an early morning wake up call again tomorrow morning, similar to what we're dealing with or dealt with overnight. And then a break with additional development later in the day with this frontal boundary still hanging around. So uh, rainfall amounts, another half inch to an inch of rain, a possibility from what's coming through tonight into tomorrow morning. It's warm at 71 degrees. We've got the heat index when you put the heat and humidity together to give you an idea what it feels like pushing triple digits at times, if not exceeding it, showing the heat indices over 100 out towards Bowling Green tomorrow with more cloud cover and active weather around may not be quite as bad, but still just a hot and steamy setup throughout the remainder of the week, really. And of course, then you add in these rounds of showers and storms that are periodically blowing through showers and storms early on and then hot and muggy later on today will probably end up partly sunny after a cloudy morning. Uh, but highs going to edge up to around that 90 degree mark, if not low 90s, mid 70s tonight, showers, thunder showers, another wave diving through. So we'll keep that chance for precipitation up tomorrow. Notice what else is up. The temperature low to mid 90s consistently through the end of the week. So hot and muggy and stormy. And so it goes. We're just rubber stamping each day, but of course it'll come in waves. You'll have big breaks in the action, then it'll back off uh, and then fire back up again. Uh, but over the weekend, as the pattern shifts, looks like we could have a high building in. We'll finally get a chance to dry out. Doesn't really do much overall to drop the temperature, though. We're still going to be in the 90s, so could have some good pool days ahead for that upcoming weekend.